Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today I'm going to show you how to play Uno. Now, this is my well-loved copy of Uno, probably from the early 90s, but the game came out uh, originally in the early 70s, and people have been playing it wrong since then. So, what is in Uno? So, Uno is a deck of cards. It's 108 cards, and what you have is you have four wild cards, four, draw four wild cards, uh, you have in every different color, you have one zero in the four different colors. And then you have two of every other number from one to nine. You have blue ones. And then you also have two reverse cards in each color, two draw two cards in each color, and two skip cards in each color. Now, once you have all those cards, then the only other thing you need is a bag of potato chips and something to wash them down with. No, like, I'm not kidding. It literally says that in the rules. start a game of Uno, the first thing you need to do is you need to pick a dealer. And so the way that you do that is you give one card to each player um, and they look at the face value of the card. So if it's a word card, that value is just zero. Uh, if it's number zero through nine, you just take the player who has the highest numbered card and that person is the dealer. So they shuffle up the deck, they deal seven cards uh, to each player, and then they turn over uh, the top of what's left over of the deck uh, and then play starts. Normally, play starts uh, by the person to the left of the dealer uh, playing on top of this card that has been uncovered. Uh, that person needs to play a card that is the same number or the same color. Now, when you turn over this first card, it's probably just going to be a number like this. But if it's a skip card, then the player to the left of the dealer is skipped and the next player in player order uh, gets to play. If it's a reverse card, uh, instead of playing clockwise like normal, the dealer will get to play first, and then play will continue counterclockwise. Uh, if it's a draw two, the player to the left of the dealer has to draw two cards, that ends their turn, and then the next player gets to start. Uh, if it's a wild card, the player to the left of the dealer gets to call the color and start play. If it's a draw four wild card, you actually shuffle this back into the deck uh, and then turn over a card again. Now, let's look at all the cards that people have been given. So, as I mentioned, a normal card, numbered card, came up. So the next person to play is clockwise from the dealer to the dealer's left. And let's say they just play this card. They can play that because the color matches. And the next player, again, they can play a card that matches the color. Now, if you look at my hand, you can see I don't have a card that matches the color or the number. And I don't have any other special card that I can play either, like a wild. So I'm going to, what I have to do on my turn is, I take the top card from the deck. Now if this card is a playable card, because it matches the color or number, I can just play that and end my turn. Uh, if it is a card that does not match and is not playable, then I just put it in my hand and again, I end my turn. Uh, and the next player starts to go. So you keep going like that um, until somebody uh, runs out of cards in the round. Now there are a few other rules. So I mentioned before uh, when we are having cards to start with, there are different cards with words on them. So a skip, you skip the next player in player order if you play one of those. A reverse reverses play order. So if it's currently going clockwise, play would then start going counterclockwise. And if it's already going counterclockwise and someone plays this, it starts playing clockwise. A draw two, again, the next player in player order draws two cards and then ends their turn. A wild uh, allows you to call and change the color uh, that's on there. So you can put this down and say, uh, it's now yellow. And so the next players have to abide by that. But there's also the wild draw four. The wild draw four has specific uh, rules about how it can be played. So the draw four wild can only be played 
if you have no cards in your hand that match the color. So for instance, if it were my turn and I uh, wanted to play, I could not play the draw four wild uh, because I have red cards. However, uh, let's say my hand looked like this. Now I could play the draw four wild, or even uh, if my hand looked like this, you'd see even though I have a five that I can play, I don't have a green card, and that's what's important. So now I can play a draw four wild. Now, interestingly, uh, when I play a draw four wild, the person who is supposed to draw the four cards, uh, because the next player is supposed to draw four cards, and then I call the suit the color that will continue play, that person can challenge me, challenge that I played that card wrong. So when I'm challenged, I show my hand, and if I played the card right, uh, the person who issued the challenge, in addition to drawing the four uh, cards from the wild, has to draw an additional two cards. Um, if I show my card and I played it wrong, for instance, I had a green card in my hand there when I played that, then they still have to draw four cards. I still get to call the color, but I have to also draw four, four cards into my hand. So that's a penalty for playing that card wrong. Now, uh, when you get down to a situation where you have your last few cards, so say it was my turn, and this is where the name Uno comes in. When I go to play this card, before my next to last card hits the pile, I have to say Uno. So if I, I can say Uno and then put that card down. That lets everybody else at the table know that I have one card left in my hand. Uh, if for some reason I don't say Uno, uh, then any of the other players can call me on that and say, hey, you didn't say Uno. They have to do that before the next player starts to play a card from their hand or starts to draw from the draw pile. But if they do that, I get a two card penalty. I have to draw two cards uh, and put them in my hand. Okay? Now, uh, if the last card that is played is a draw two, or maybe even a draw four, the next player needs to draw the two or four cards into their hand. Now you might ask why the round is over, right? Well, it's because Uno is a scoring game. Um, when you are the player, or whichever player has played their last card, they look at all the other cards that are still in the opponent's hands and they add up the points for those cards. And the way that that works is any card that is a number card is worth that face value. So these three cards together would be 11 points. Then any wild card, whether it's a wild or a draw for wild, these are worth 50 points each. And then any other card with words on it is worth 20 points. So you add all those points up, and those are the points that you carry over into the next round. And the first player to get to 500 points wins the game. So it will probably take you multiple rounds to get to 500 points. Now, there is another penalty in the game. Uh, if for any reason you suggest to somebody that they should play some card during course of play, there is a four card penalty. So you have to draw four cards from the, the deck. There are other variants in the rule book. There's two player rules, there's tournament play, multi-table play, lots of things. But I'll let you read the rules for those uh, if you are interested. But these are the basic how to play UNO rules. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And also, I'm very curious if you have actually been playing this game properly uh, for the last many years. I would like to know that too because I have been playing it wrong for most of my life. All right. Thanks, everybody.